Well, good evening and Merry Christmas, everyone. And hey, Aaron, nice to see you here on the desk and share this day with you. And if you wouldn't mind, I got a stocking here and it looks like Santa kind of gave me a delivery and it looks like <laughs> we got a book. It is the night of Christmas. Would you mind if I read this to you? I've been waiting all year for this, please. All right, let's, uh, let's begin right here. I'm gonna do the teacher style right there. Okay, we start with this. Twas the night of Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. With family members sitting, watching KSBY, asking themselves, why in the world are we watching this guy? Well, let's take a step back, take a walk in the past, for this year in sports has flown by quite fast. Remember 2020 when all things were canceled, like the fall football season, for example? That made sports all crammed and crazy in 2021, but at the same time, it made it fun. We had a short Cal Poly football season in the spring. That was before COVID decided to be mean. The season was cut short after three games. Yes, some people may say COVID continued to be lame. High school football also followed suit, hoping the spring season wouldn't become moot. But in a sports world that was rather twisted, the Central Coast fought on and persisted. While high school sports were back in action, Gaucho basketball was a major attraction, punching their ticket to the NC2A tourney, making their way to Indianapolis to complete their journey. Cal Poly baseball season made many fans optimistic as future MLB draft pick Brooks Lee drove pitchers ballistic. The slow blues returned to town in stride. Fall sports came in ready to collide, but before the craziness, the fall would cater the 2020 Olympics taking place a year later. Our local athletes made their way to Tokyo, putting their talents on display for show. Team USA securing the most medals again, showing what it means to be a country that wins. And how about the year the Central Coast had on the field with a phenomenal number of players and teams it yield? The Mission Prep Royals undefeated all year. They beat Lamore in the playoffs, forcing themselves into the elite tier. The Rigetti Warriors struggled in the season early on. That didn't matter. Their hope was far from gone. The Warriors taking the CIF title away from Liberty, realizing a state title was a real possibility. The Morro Bay Pirates were in the same boat. Even after their CIF win over Taft, they did not gloat. Both schools made their way to a state appearance, and while they came up short, we will remember their perseverance. They punched their names in the history books while their teams were sitting on their couches watching too many cooks. Couches and, of course, teams, athletes, players on the Central Coast. Let's take a step back to admire their accomplishments. Yes, we can boast. So while you sit on your couch with family and friends, remember the Central Coast sports success never ends. And if you're a fan of the Giants, like my dear friend Aaron Fay, <laughs> just remember the Dodgers defeated San Fran in five games. To 2022 we go with so many future sports memories in store, even through the obstacles. We can still find ways to score. So to say the least, this sports year in 2021 was all right. Merry Christmas to all and to all. A good night. Thanks, Dusty, except for that one line, but that was that was pretty great. I kind of had to mention uh, the LA Dodgers still didn't make it all the way. We'll see them next year. Ouch. <laughs>